Harper, former gold medalist. As a matter of fact, he's a three-time former gold medalist in this event. He's got golds from Aspen in the 13, 14, to 2015 season. So he is a veteran, very skilled when it comes to all things slope style here at the X Games. Definitely a veteran. This is a guy that I always used to battle with when I was competing and still at the top of his game. Hasn't been at the top of the podium in a few years, but he's refocused and back trying to win another goal. Making short work of the rail section there, heading into the first of the jumps. Starts it off with a left side double court. Great speed for Nick. He seems to be powering through these jumps. There's the switch double. Misty so, so far, so solid. Two 1260s. There's another 1260 to the right. And then the switch, double court 900. The smallest rotation of his run was a double court 900. Three 12s and a nine. That was a fantastic. So that'll leave Ferdinand down there in that number eight position. We'll see more out of him in round at number three. This is your current leader out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana. He also happens to be a silver medalist from the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics. Nick Gepper, former three-time Aspen slope style gold medalist on course for attempt number two. This is the best position to be in, Nick. Solid on run number one, sitting in first. Now the pressure's off a little bit. You can go out with a little bit more of a fun attitude and really try to up the ante. And that rail run was extremely technical. A lot of pretzel maneuvers there, spinning on one way, out another way, into the jumps where he is really solid. Two 1260s there. There's the big right side 1260. Here we saw a switch nine in the first run. Whoa! Cat out of a window on that one. He set his edge for, the, for that switch nine. A huge run for Ferdinand Dahl. Boom. So it's Gepper, Dahl, and McEachern. Your one, two, three as of right now. That was a huge run for Ferdinand. Your current leader on course, Nick Gepper. Yeah, Nick Gepper came out swinging in run number one and really hasn't looked back. It's reminiscent of 2015 where he won on his first run in a similar fa fashion. I feel like once you have that confidence, it's just easy to go out and ski your best. Solid landing, looking like he never left the gra ground on that double court 1260. Here's the right side double court with the tail grab, and it's this bottom hit that gave him trouble last run. More patient, and gets the landing good on that one. So really similar to the run we saw in run number one, but looking to improve as a lot of these guys are. It's Gepper, Dahl, McEachern, your one, two, three, as we are at the two minute warning as of right now here in the men's ski slope style final. Again, we have not seen this gentleman on the slope style podium in the next game since 2017. He does have three prior gold medals in his trophy case. He's eyeing up a potential fourth here today, Tom. He is, and there, another slight bobble. He's looking for that pretzel up top where he is so technical in the top rail section, doing a pretzel out of that 450 and a pretzel out of the switch 270. So not getting either of those tricks. He's just going to have fun through this one. He's sitting in first, and I think he's sitting in first by a fair bit. His technicality on those rails is really solid. So anybody else that's going to drop is going to need to do something really, really, not only smooth and well-grabbed and big, but really technical, especially through those rails. Well, there's five seats set to bring in our next competitor. He is no stranger to the slope-style podium. He walked out of here in Aspen in 2019 with a bronze. This is Norway's Ferdinand Dahl. Really stylish rider, known for his video parts as well. He's competing this season in the X Games real ski competition. And there's an underflip off of that sort of pole jam style feature. Really creative rail line so far. Solid switch, 1260 off that one. Diving forward to the right with the double bio. Oh, huge alley-oop. Oh, so traveling up the takeoff of that quarter pipe takeoff and, and spinning to the left while traveling downhill to the right. So 
generates that sort of alley-oop spin, and he was, that was ginormous. Under 16 minutes left to go here in the jam session on the Jeep Slope style course. Ferdinand Dahl, of course, for round at number three here. He's down there at the bottom of the pack in that number 10 spot. Here's the flip. Let's see if he goes for it again. You can hear the sound that metal makes, sort of a pole jam, so bonking off of that up rail, doing the flip. Oh, the switch left side, 1260. Into that diving forward, right side, double bio, gets the Japan grab. Here's that alley-oop. So gets the landing on that one where we saw him fall before. This is his first time getting all the way through the course. Double! Wow! Switch right side double bio off that last feature. That was <laughs> really incredible. I, he rotated. That'll put him in the number three position as of right now as we welcome in our next competitor out of Canada. This is Evan McEachern. Evan grew up at a small hill back east in Canada and really good on the rails because of that. Grew up riding rails, so technically sound. They are solid through the rails and into the jumps. Whoa, huge switch right, 1440. Then going to the left, so sort of letting go of the grab early on that one and having to tuck it around where he maybe wanted to spin a little bit quicker so he could hold the grab longer, but still, getting this full run. Oh, I was about to say this full run to his feet, and unfortunately, just a little bit of a hip check there on that bottom jump, and again, McEachern. Do up next year, silver medalist in slope style from Aspen here last year. Have been solid through these rails so far. Known for that, again, I reiterate, growing up on the East Coast in Canada, small little 200-foot vertical hill. Rails are what you learn. Switch 1440, though, no stranger to some heat on the jumps as well, and that's a way better grab there on jump two here in run two. Right side double cork. And then finishing it off with the left side double court 12. Big, full, nice run there by Evan McEachern. Well, prior to this run, he was all the way down there at the bottom of the pack. He was sitting at that number. Get some minor deductions, but, I mean, the biggest hey. trick we've seen off that bottom jump. So that'll bump him up one spot. He was an eight, and he now finds himself in the number seven position as we are marching towards the 10-minute mark here on the Jeep Slope style course. Currently sitting in a bronze medal position, it's Evan McEachern. Evan came to play. He's been really solid through the rails. And there's a big upgrade with the back 360 switch up pretzeling out. So changing up the rail run a little bit to add difficulty, sticking to these big rotations on the jumps, locking in the two grabs on that switch 1260. Oh, and a solid right side double court. What do we see on the bottom hit? Oh, goes for the double court 1260. So Evan, after getting comfortable and getting into a podium spot with that run before, now he's feeling for eighth place out here today. So we're winding it down on the Jeep Slope style course. Currently looking at a bronze medal spot. It's the last go around here for Evan McEachern. Clock's out. So last opportunity, last chance for all these guys. Oh, barely squeaking that pretzel 270 around. Does he have the speed still? He does. Switch right side 1440. The biggest spin we're seeing on that first jump by any athlete out here gets the switch 1260 in the opposite direction. And that one was humongous. The right side 1080 going the biggest he's gone all day into a really solid 12 again. So. The same run we saw, perhaps a little bit of a bobble.